from Triad for some helpful tips. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Cody. Good to see you, my friend. It's Good here, to see it? you too. I yeah. Know. I missed the holiday parade in Auburn this week and still mad about it. Anyway. Anyway, uh, I'm doing uh, table decorations for the holidays. I put two of uh, tablecloths on the table and then I just pinched up every once in a while the green one to give it kind of a holiday look. Yeah, I like that. And then this can be a centerpiece. This is actually a fall wreath. And I just laid it down and stuck some holiday uh, flowers uh -huh. on it. And you can put, and you have a centerpiece. Ooh, let, let's light those candles. Light those candles. Yeah, See, nice. Isn't that neat? <laughs> if you want something more whimsical, you can put one of our snowmen, which you learned at Triad to make. There you go. Now, my favorite thing is a table runner. So we have a table runner here. All it is is 18 inches of fabric and then however long you want to make it. Okay. And you can either sew the edge, turn this under and sew it, or use uh, fabric tech or uh, stitch witchery if you're not a sewer okay. Okay. to glue it down. And when you make a table runner and you're having a dinner party, make sure that there's room around for the dinner plates at the ends and stuff. Don't mm. have it where the dinner plates are oh, fighting. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Table runners work great because hot dishes stay hot on them. My favorite centerpiece, and it's easy for the center, is... Uh, of course, I have to find the light. Did I light <laughs> these ahead of time? No. There, there we go. And you just put these on a couple strings. I only have one here. Turn them on, kind of bunch up some organza, and it makes a very pretty uh, table runner. I and like it. Out of that, you can put some candles there and a few flowers, which I threw on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so there. You know, it's very easy. You don't have to, you know, spend all day on mm -hmm. your uh, your centerpiece. Whenever I entertain, I end up having to get all different types of chairs. So by putting snowmen or uh, Santa hats on the back of them, they all look the same. Ah, sneaky. And they're very easy. You measure the width of the chair, and then you just. Cut the Santa hats, the width of the chair uh -huh. and down. Have it go straight about uh, four to six inches. Sew them together. Add your uh, white trim, whatever you decide. Your fuzzy. And your fuzzy in. Mm -hmm. And they make all the chairs look the same. That's brilliant. By the way, Bonnie is doing a class today at Triad. At 11 o'clock, oh. and you'll get this. You'll even get more. I do how to fold napkins, and you'll get quite a few more ideas. Awesome. Do they have to do like something with your pen? And if no, if you come today, you get a 50% coupon. If you can't make it today, come another day and tell them that you saw me on here with Cody, and I had a pen that said, ho, ho, ho. Okay. <laughs> Good to see you. Happy holidays, my friend. Uh, go to our class. They're a blast. I've never heard so much laughing in my whole entire <laughs> life when, when people are in our class. Back to you, Deuce. Yeah. Thank you, Bonnie. Still to come.